And how did you prepare for this storyline? What's that? How did you prepare for this storyline? Um, you know, it's did, just... Do you have a, a technique or something? A technique? No, I mean, I just, I just uh, observe. There's, um, there's a, a center, center for the blind not too far from, uh, from where I live, and uh, uh, I just, you know, it was just something I really wanted to handle as respectfully as possible. So I just tried to do my best. Mm -hmm. And Van, how was it to play opposite to Jay during the storyline? He never looked at me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I always thought that, to me that was a little bit hard because as actors, you're always looking for that connection, that, that eye contact with, with, with who you're working with. You know, you know and I think I, I found that other actors, and I think, you know, Van, you got used to it, but if I was just thrown into a scene with somebody, I was like, I'm not going to look at you, just so you know. <laughs> and I think it was a little bit jarring at first. I don't know what it was like. I mean, you know, I thought, I, I felt pretty organic within the scenes because I thought he was actually playing what a blind person would be like. Um, so I was just, you know, and I think that kind of fed into the storyline of Luke wanting to help him, you know, and wanting to do all this stuff for him um, because he was so realistically blind. So it felt like I was working. Did it change your acting? Um, well, I mean, it, it, whenever you have a situation that's different than what your character is used to, it, I don't know if it changes your acting, but it changes your character, so that changes how you portray things. So I guess in a way, yeah, a roundabout way, it changed your, my acting, but I, I feel like acting always changes depending on what you're doing and what the circumstances of the scene are. Now tell us about Eric Schaffer Stevens. He's a fantastic guy to work with. Um, he is incredibly inventive as an actor. Um, I think I think all that food stuff is hit. I think that was all like I think that's something he he uh, brought in for his character. Um, the junk food thing. All the food. He's always he's eating. always eating. Yeah, they, the, the, whenever whenever there was food on set, he'd be eating it. And I love that choice. Um, he's I don't, he had never done a soap before either, and he just kind of stepped into it and I think just blew everybody away. He was fantastic. Um, he's a really nice guy too, so it was, he's got a really dry sense of humor. Um, the, uh, <laughs> um, At first you're kind of like, is he messing with me? Or yeah. <laughs> are, you an, like, are you an asshole or are you just really... <laughs> Oh, you're a nice guy. Just, okay, gotcha. Uh, but he's, you know, he's very, he's very smart. He's very um, unassuming, I would say. Um, and he's very fun to work with. Have you been involved in the casting of Reed? Yeah, in the same sense that uh, when Reed, at the, at their, when they had their final group of people, uh, the same thing as with Noah, I went in and I uh, read with them. There's only three of them. There was Eric, who was, I think, by far, one, you know, when he read, there was really nobody else who was going to, who, who would even come close to being right for the role. Um, there's an Australian guy, and then there was somebody else. And the thing that was really cool is that the other two had come in, like, full suits, and they were, like, very, like, I'm a doctor, I'm a doctor. And Eric came in jeans and a, a t-shirt. He just sat there and he was an asshole to everybody. And <laughs> he was great. He was fantastic. Were you involved, Jake? No. In the casting room? No. no. Uh, did you sense that the addition of Reed to the Luke and Noah story would have such an impact on the audience? Yes, yes. I, I mean, I knew that if they were having me come in and work with with the character, uh, yeah, that I, th I, I think that, um, that I knew that it would be uh, an important story. And I think one of the sad things is I think that if the show hadn't been canceled, this, I mean, I know the story would just keep going and keep going and keep going. I think it would have been a really cool thing to see and to see what Eric does with all that stuff and what we all do with all of it. What about you, Jay? Uh, what specifically? Yeah, did you, did you sense that this would be oh. something big for the audience? To yeah, agree? yeah, yeah. I mean, I knew that it was going to... I knew that it, I knew what he was being brought in for, and I knew that that, that would affect 
that would affect the you know the fans of Luka Noah, because um, he was you know he was really going to come between them. What yeah. I love though is that they I I liked that it for Noah he came you know Reed came on and Noah was the one kind of always first defending him like oh, come on yeah. just you know give him a chance and and I liked that. That, that was the way they handled it. Because I thought that he, Noah was approaching it from simply the, the point of view, as like this guy, you know, I don't care what he's like personality-wise. I know people don't like him, but he's helping me, so he's helping me see again. So I like that. Alex Chen though came back earlier this year. Mm -hmm. He didn't have that many scenes with her, but must have been nice to have her back on set. It was. It was great. And also Jen and, and Jesse Suffer are back mm -hmm. for the end of the show. Did you have a chance to work with them again? No. No. Unfortunately, no. no. Uh, but it was great to see him yeah. moving around set, but yeah. 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 Um, we never really worked with Will and Gwen too much. At the beginning? Yes. Be a little yeah, bit, a couple of things. But not, not we went to much. Branson with them. We went to yeah. Branson with them. That was fun. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, it was great seeing them, though. This is a question from Nadine. Is there something about Luke and Noah that you wish you had explored more? Uh, I wish Luke explored... Uh, I wish Luke had a little bit more drive. Uh, and I wish Luke would do something besides worry about his relationships and then worry about other people's relationships. I wish he would kind of grow a set and maybe go to work. Uh, <laughs> well, I, I kind of wish that, that we had seen... I like that. I like that the idea of Luke and Noah having worked together on a project. Yeah, that, that, Luke that got dropped. That so got quickly. dropped, and I, I, sometimes that happens on the show, and it's you know it's kind of frustrating when it does. Um, and I know it wasn't your favorite storyline, but I actually did like when there was that whole when when uh, when the landlord wouldn't let us in. And yeah, that was second, like a day line story, the day long storyline. Yeah, it was bizarre. <laughs> they, they, he was this big gay activist for a day. Yeah. And then, <laughs> But I actually liked that. I, I was a shipping heir for a day. You were what? I had a shipping company. Yeah. I had a shipping company. I thought you still did, no? I guess I do. <laughs> <laughs> and I had a, had a foundation for a week. <laughs> it gave up on it. Yeah. <laughs> so. <laughs> a question from Rebecca. If you could have written a storyline for your characters, where would it have been and why? The moon? I don't know. Something really out there. Oh, no, I've got a no great one. I've got a great one. Problem. Two know. twins come to town <laughs> and they finish each other's sentences. That was your storyline, man. No, no, no it's a totally story line. different storyline. Totally different. <laughs> and then one of them tries to rape Noah. Wait, they were trying to rape you. I know, this is oh, a different right, story right. I uh, I would, I don't know, I like, I really actually think the Reed storyline's really good, and I, 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 you know, I'm really glad that they gave us a triangle before the end. Um, if we hadn't had one? We hadn't had a real one. I guess not. Um, I mean, there was Mason, but that didn't really go anywhere. There was Amira, Amira but that didn't go anywhere. There was Maddie, but that, Maddie was the best triangle until Reed. Yeah. Um, I'd write something funny, I think, for them. A funny story. Yeah. They didn't do anything funny. <laughs> yeah, no, they, like they, 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 they can... Like a long party. Like a party. Yeah. Or some kind of like, I don't know, finding a buried treasure. Who knows? I don't know. I don't know. I'd go for that, Jake. <laughs> <laughs> Look, no, we found a buried treasure. <laughs> I was thinking more like Goonies or something. Uh, goonies! Yeah, I just put them in Goonies. Yeah. <laughs> 